Hello YouTube. In this video, I'm going to explain something. I've been asked by a lot of people, should I or should I not rip my Android phone or my Android tablet? Um, I have a lot of answers for that. My initial first response is yes, if you want to, but keep in mind that with a lot of the phone companies and a lot of the service providers now if you root your Android device you are taking the chance of first off voiding your warranty second off you might be in breach of contract with your service provider for rooting your device if you're a phone or a 3G tablet now with that being said, what are the advantages to ridding the device? And you're going to know that it's rooted because first of all you're going to have access to the actual root file structure and a lot of the configuration files just like in Linux. Second of all, if you go to your apps, you're going to see an app in there that's called Super User. And as you can see right here, there's a whole list of apps that have had root permission. As you can see, TeamViewer Quick Support, which I'm currently using to show you this, is one of the apps that uses root for various functions on the device. You're not going to have the super user app at all all unless the device itself is rooted. Secondly, there are a lot of apps that have far more functionality on a rooted device, especially for like Avast antivirus or something like that. If your device is rooted, then yeah, it's capable of going in and scanning deeper and further into the system. There's a lot more things it can do. Um, you have the ability of actually performing a complete wipe on the phone if you lose it or something like that. And you lock, with Avast and a lot of other antivirus programs, you can actually either go in and track the device or you can go in and completely and totally wipe the entire device and do a factory restore and even wipe your information and your service provider out of it if your phone is stolen or if you've completely lost it and you've already bought a new one and transferred over to it. So there's a lot of reasons to and not to root your device. Um, that's really about all I can think of and about all I can say. That and like I said, you have more access into the file structure and the file system. You can actually get into the root folder. Um, with root you can go in with an editor and edit a lot of the config files manually and go in and kind of tweak your device but at the same time if you don't know what you're doing there's a high chance that you could brick your device and turn it into nothing more than an expensive paperweight by not properly performing the steps but through not knowing what you're doing in the process of attempting to root the device. This particular one not only is it rooted I'm not even running the standard Android operating system I'm actually running a custom firmware and custom modded phone so it says right there that it is the SPH M820 the base band is the M8207EJ06. So there's the CPU. I'm running ARM V6, which is part of why it's so slow. And then you see mod version right there. Mod version 7.1.0 Hork Beta 5. And it's based off of gingerbread. Which uh, basically means that what I'm actually running on this phone is cyanogen mod which you can see right there the cyanogen mod settings right there it is so I'm actually running CM7 and I'm not running the standard Android OS so yeah there's a lot of benefits to soft modding your phone especially being able to get uh, 
clockwork mod on there to be able to restore or install uh, ROMs and do ROM management but other than that if it's not something that you absolutely need to do for various reasons on service providers and warranty I wouldn't recommend it but if it's something you want to do there are a lot of benefits to it hope that helps you out with your question whether or not it's worth it that's entirely up to you as always watch like and share and have a great day